What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I wanna go ahead and tell you guys that we are wrapping another car. You guys already know this. I probably mentioned it in the past, maybe not. But anyway, I got a car that we're going to wrap. Here it is, it's an Audi A4. Uh, I just went ahead and did a quick walk around, show you guys the condition of the car. Car has been repainted at one point on the passenger side rear door. So I gotta be very careful when it goes to wrapping and repositioning the vinyl at this point because I don't wanna lift that aftermarket paint. Um, haven't had it happen to me uh, recently in customer cars, but it did happen to me in my Lexus ISF when I did wrap that car a little while ago, you know, maybe three years ago, and uh, it was a nightmare. So I'm gonna be a little bit more cautious, probably gonna use some tack reducer from Vivid and uh, try to reduce the uh, tension that it's gonna have. Um, I'm very excited to do this car um, because you know every time I wrap a new car or I do a new uh, service, I get better and better every time. Um, eventually I can get well enough to make more videos and have content and be more consistent um, as well as making more money. It's always a good thing to hustle and make more money. Um, hopefully you guys can enjoy this uh, content for this Audi. We're gonna wrap it in this crazy 3M color. Uh, not too crazy, but it looks really nice. Here it is, we are using 3M again this time. Um, last time we did 3M matte military green on the Tesla. Today we are doing the uh, satin blue finish from 3M. Um, I wanna say this is 2080, but I purchased this on metrostyling.com. I order all of my 3M from metrostyling.com and you can find a coupon code online and get 5% off. So it ends up being like $600 shipped and they ship really, really fast. So we got it in like two days. As for the car, I think we're gonna go and just go at it. I'm not gonna go and just waste my time and measuring everything out and putting it on paper or on the computer. I used to do that when I first started wrapping to make sure I have enough vinyl, but I'm pretty, pretty good enough that I don't need that. I'm just gonna measure that. I'll cut a piece off and then use it for both fenders. And whenever I go ahead and roll it out to measure, I'll cut and keep that roll standing like that. That way, I, I make sure it all goes the same direction. So when I cut the fender and use it as two pieces, um, the bottom piece of that vinyl will go to this fender and the top piece, I will just flip it 180 and it'll go on the uh, uh, passenger side. And that's the goal, try to keep it all the same because like I said in my last videos, my vinyl wrap videos, when you go and wrap these cars, uh, those, those vinyls are printed from a machine in one direction. So it's gotta stay consistent. If you, let's say I cut a piece, uh, like up and down, wrap wrap uh, this fender and I cut another piece and I roll it that way so let's say instead of flipping it 180 I rotated it or yeah rotated it um, over and wrap that other side when you go and line everything up like the fender the door and everything it's just gonna it might look really weird so so you guys know I don't really make a lot of videos because I do work a full-time job. I'm, I do make YouTube videos, but I don't consider myself a YouTuber. So it's good to have random content like this coming in. More than likely, I'm probably going to end up wrapping the driver's side first to get a feel of the car. When I'm done with that, I'm going to flip it around and then we're going to do some videos on the passenger side. But it all comes down to uh, time and I don't want to drag it on too long. Hope you guys stay tuned. Uh, enjoy all the other content that I have on this channel. It's, um, it's been really fun. I'm enjoying the weather in Florida. It's like 60, 70 degrees every day. So uh, I actually took the time to detail and, and all stuff. And if you guys are really interested in detailing and starting something and having just a bunch of stuff ready so you guys can detail for the weekend, um, I can make a little small video and show you guys what I use and what I think is really, really worth purchasing to set yourself up for a you know whole year of detailing and um, obviously cost efficient. So. Until then, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching this one, and uh, yeah, see you then. Peace.